Ahoy, fellas! I believe I was standing right here. I mean, I had to go back into the backup saves because of reasons, so let's just not think too hard about that and get along with it. At least that's the plan right now. I'm hoping this is going to be a finale, and I'm also hoping that's going to go a whole heck of a lot quicker than the last finale I made. <laughs> um, because the last time I did this, it was about 30 minutes long, which is way longer than it needed to be, in all honesty. If I'm being H, which I am, I'm always H. I'm less H now. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> right as I'm, while I'm making an H joke of all things. Yeah, okay. It's just the way it goes. I'm gonna be less... Yeah, whatever. Um... Yeah. I was... I said on the Yakuza Video Zero video I was gonna talk more about things that I consume on a regular basis. Just as a... Not really as like a transparency thing. Just being real kind of thing, you know? Um... I figured that could be fun. You know, that could be real fun. Um... So that's the plan today, sort of. I was going to talk about how I'm like a regular Timcast viewer and all that. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's kind of not a good time for me to do this, huh? Oh, wow, I'm surprised I didn't just get sent into spikes for that. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Sick. Let's just do this, whatever. We did it, guys! We got rid of all the balls! Now I can do stuff. Right? Yeah. But you know what? I'm not even gonna actually... Okay, actually, I am gonna do that. I was about to say I'm not even gonna do that just yet, but no, I am 100% going to do that just now. Because... Down here, through there, is another well, which is something that I will really want to be able to access, because... <gasps> I gotta go back to the glades. I gotta completely fill out the glades, because that's Willow's End, 100% completed, and now all we have left is the Wellspring Glades, and the only thing we have left of Wellspring Glades, I think, is uh, showing Lupo the map, and um, getting Grom, right? That's his name, Grom. Grom, you know, to a... Uh, build out all the stuff, which also involves talking to this one little Moki, you know, because, <laughs> very important, because the last, apparently, this is something that I spent, like, way too long on the original recording of this doing, the last, um, thing that you can build in Wellspring Glades is, uh, like, beautification. And it doesn't unlock unless you talk to that Moki, which is super cool. I am glad I knew that. Anyways. Now, Ayo! 100% completion in every single area. Every facet of this game I have now completed. Except for the whole final boss and watching the credits and all that. Hey, we're gonna do it, don't let you worry. Believe you me. Um... If it is obvious enough, I'm trying to go fast here because I have something that I'm doing. Maybe... Oh, what the heck? Oh, right. There was one more. I forgot about this. I'm gonna have to try my darndest to remember exactly where the last thing was. It was one of these pots. Yeah, there we are. See? 100% completion, baby! 100% And now we're gonna go on... We gotta relight that spirit oak. Spirit willow? It might be an oak. It looks kinda like an oak. You know, oaks kinda have that split in the middle. This one splits in two. Anyways. Finally. But, yeah. I figured I would be... Again, it's not really a question of transparency. I just kinda like... I like the things that I like, and... I hold back too often from talking about things that I enjoy. And I figured maybe I'd be more interesting... If I was real, instead of just being haha -ha goofy clown, you know? Um, and hell, basically my entire Yakuza 0 video talking about, like, getting rid of, like, a porn addiction was kind of spurred on by the ever-incessant words of Ian Crossland on Timcast. Because he talks, he, he would talk a lot about, um, 
how he would basically just kind of like make videos laying himself bare and it was kind of therapeutic in a sense you know and I tried doing that the first time I recorded these two episodes it just didn't go very well because the audio wasn't working but you know I will not be tempted by Satan to renege on these things that I've promised to myself and now I have promised them to you the people so yeah that's gonna be me from here on out if you are not a big fan of I, I mean I was about to say Christian conservatism but there's not really any reason for me to get too like inundated in politics on this channel of all things you know I mean I've talked about Christianity a little bit and I've talked about like moderately conservative things a little bit um, and in all honesty like if we lived in a conservative country I'd probably be more libertarian um, but we don't so uh, conservatism it is I suppose um, but you know that uh, I would I would argue don't love me in any one group I have enough people in my life that are of different persuasions that I talk to and things like that so uh, I hope at least I'm not some mindless radical, but no, that's not exactly like the the utmost of my concerns in all honesty. <laughs> um, eh, I don't know, I guess I could get into something like that, just talking about... But it, I feel like from here on it's going to be if I stop myself, it's because I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't really know what I'm talking about anyways. But just kind of the if I stop myself there is um very good reason in that I was about to say something along the lines of like radical is a subjective term by all means there are objective means by which we can kind of talk about things that are facets of I was about to say facets of the human experience oh no screech crush the light that's no good well who's gonna be the tree now Oh well. Great. Thanks, pal. You really messed up for the rest of us, huh? Dang bird. Why does contact damage me? Die. Lol. Oh dear god. Oh, dear God. What? Oh, wonderful. I don't remember this part of the game. Oh, never mind. I do remember this now. We're going somewhere else. That's the idea. Oh, great. I was doing that for no reason. Got him. But, yeah, I'm hoping that just kind of talking isn't a terrible thing. You know, like, I, I, I feel like I kind of lived in this wacky world where, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say I, I had any belief in, like, being conservative, being, like, a death sentence, death sentence or anything, but, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it sure as heck ain't a plus for a lot of people, but then I'm just, like, kind of sitting on the plane coming back from coming back to, like, where I live from visiting my parents for the holidays, and I'm sitting next to a guy reading, like, Jordan Peterson. And I'm like, yeah, I guess there are quite a few normal people in the world. You know? I shouldn't be overly concerned about what the honestly pretty normal things I think will get me in life. Because, uh, I don't think I think anything too utterly outrageous that it's gonna be too big of a problem. Holy... Watch, he's gonna come from the top now. Oh, bottom, actually. Ishka. Ishka. You're destroying the platforms, pal. Come on, I'm using those to fight you. I wonder if that spear hit him. I don't know if it did. Oh, wonderful. Oh, God. Okay. That's fine. Heck off, man. Here's what I'm going to do. Begging and pleading. This is fine. Um, yeah, okay. Here's the fun part of the video game where he destroys the bottom platform and I just have to use these fun, 
kind of random projectiles to deal with uh, all of the attacks and all that. Which is fine. I mean, I can do that. Oh, jeez. Right? Right? I can do that? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... I don't know if I'm, like, invulnerable during... Um... I feel like I might be. It's possible. There we go. You know what? Let's just finish it off. <laughs> yeah, let, I'm gonna I'm just stop wasting time here. Uh, it is a finale, after all. Oh boy! We did it, guys! We have defeated the Rock Owl. Shall always remember the night. Oh boy. Um, yeah. First time I was recording this, I got into, like, all the shows that I've watched, you know. But I'm not really a regular viewer of a lot of things anymore, in all honesty. Like, uh, I watched Timcast for the news, and, um, like, Steven Crowder for the rationale for a lot of things, you know. Because, I don't, like, it, it, it's weird thinking about Louder with Crowder as a comedy show, in honesty, because it seems just kind of like a general news show at this point um, but, you know it's it's kind of funny I don't I don't have the exact same sense of humor as uh, good old Steve but eh, you know I, I, I personally enjoy the way that he rationalizes a lot of the things that he thinks um, and you know Timcast is a fun time especially when you know the guest gets mad and walks out that's always cool uh, yeah I was watching live. They had Yay on. <laughs> uh, good times. Oh, jeez. Tragic villain. Tragic villain. Oh, so tragic. It's tragic villain. Oh, no. Anyways. I was talking to my sister about tragic villains the other day. And she she's, like, tired of it. Because it seems like every Marvel movie now, they figured out that they can make like ideological villains with tragic stories they were like hey people didn't hate thanos what if we make villains that think things you know <laughs> yeah and then we got three movies pretty much back to back that were kind of like tragic villain you have to accept the villain, and then the villain decides not to be the villain anymore. Kind of freaking stories, you know? And my sister was just like, I don't like that shit. I'd rather they just beat the crap out of them, you know? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, exactly. Oh, how quaint. Anyways, real good times. Oh, now I can go through brambles. Yeah, right at the end when I'm half dead. Wouldn't that be funny, though? You, like, you go through a health check at the end of the game. You don't have... If you don't have, like, three or more health, he trips on the brambles and dies, and you have to refight the boss. That would be hilarious. That would be, like, the end of Cave Story. Over and over again. Honestly, Cave Story wasn't the worst thing in the world. It just took me a really freaking long time to get where I did. I'm glad I ain't playing that anymore. Speaking of ain't playing anymore, this is the full finale. There is no Ori after this. They haven't come out with a third game, and I don't think they're going to. So, you know how it's gonna be, fellas. I'm replacing this with another game next Monday. And I have made a decision. You know, um, Autumn Sale, uh, they are apparently giving out basically like for next to nothing uh, a collection of all the Castlevania games so I'm gonna kill myself playing Castlevania <laughs> um, and then after that I might consider playing Hollow Knight because dear lordy lord I never even finished Hollow Knight and I still didn't have the best time playing it I think if I just like slowed down and have a good amount of patience like the normal amount I might be just fine playing Hollow Knight, maybe, but, <gasps> um, but, uh, like that's ever gonna happen. Oh my gosh, Kuro! Kuro is alive! 
Nice! Very epic. We were able to revive our buddy, our good pal. Cool. And now, I'm a tree. In case that wasn't... Oh, well. And now I'm a, a nice patch of grass. Okay, I kind of spoiled the ending a little bit. I'm a, a very green patch of grass. Very cool. Nothing else going on. No siree. <laughs> I'm the tree in the end. Ori becomes the spirit willow. It would be super epic if Ori 3 is just tree simulator. I can't wait for Ori 3. I always feel like... <sighs> Duets, I guess. There's a trilogy. Is that like a duology? You know, I feel like two is a weird number to end things on. But that might just be the way that like pop culture trilogies up to now have made me think. Like the Dune set of trilogies, you know. Dune book one is a trilogy. And then like there's a trilogy that involves that trilogy. After that, you know, with Messiah and Children of Dune. Like, the, two, the three Star Wars trilogy. I guess trilogies... Star Wars is a trilogy of trilogies, even though it's really just the original trilogy and everything after that is uh, not any good. In fact, it's actually only... Um, uh, what? Return of the Jedi? No, no. Yeah! Return of the Jedi is the only good Star Wars movie. <laughs> um right right yeah right no Empire Strikes Back that's what it was Return of the Jedi is episode 3 isn't it right A New Hope Empire Strikes Back Return of the Jedi or is Empire Strikes Back the third see when the chronology of Star Wars is always weird to me because I keep forgetting that, like, things happen, um, like the exact order in which things happen because a lot of things happen twice. Like I, I, I keep having to remind myself that Luke goes through his Jedi training like twice. You know, he's like, "Oh, something, something's wrong. I can feel it," and he goes and blows up the Death Star, and then he comes back to Dagobah. Um. But yeah, like, all the Tolkien stuff, those are trilogies. Everything's a trilogy. I would mention the other set of trilogies, but those were written by an, a very odd fellow that I don't know. I should mention. I used to read the Xanth books, but those were written by Piers Anthony. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to bring myself to read another children's book by Piers Anthony, because they would almost be fine if you didn't know they were children's books. But then you realize they're books for children, and you're like, Oh, this is... Uh, uh, this reads like elder young adult novels, but with, like, first grade reading level grammar and puns, you know? Um, the first two Xanth trilogies were really good, and then after that it just kind of goes downhill. And I stopped at the one that's entirely about a mermaid's underwear. You know? Um, that's just the way it goes. Uh, but hey, he wrote Total Recall, too. And that got a pretty good movie, right? He's He's got a knack for science, science fiction fantasy, you know? Sci-fi fantasy. But, boy, is the guy a bit odd. Uh, he wrote another book called uh, Firefly. And, uh, I don't know if I even want to try and explain the synopsis of it from what I've heard. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to worry too much about it. The guy's an odd fellow, and I'm just not going to really think too hard about it anymore. Anyways, we did it! We became a tree! We beat the game! I have something to do, like, right after this, so... If we could just hurry it along, you know, um, there can't... Well, I'm not going to say there can't have been too many people that worked on this game. It was very, very well executed. Good game. I do appreciate it. Next week, I'll be playing Castlevania, and I will definitely be appreciating this game more while I'm doing that. Because, you know, I've watched AVGN, and, uh, 
if I know any one thing, it's that older games are very difficult. Just by nature of them being older. Not really. I don't know, it's like... I think what it is, is that... Um... Arcade cabinets, arcade games, were relatively simple because you can't really cheat people out of something. But once you could get a game and, like, own it and be able to play it repeatedly, games were really difficult for a period of time, just for the hell of it, you know? Or you, like, specifically needed the manual for when you got stuck on something. Like, God, uh, back when my idiot self actually gave Nintendo money for the whole NES Online crap, I tried playing the original Legend of Zelda. I just... It, I have no idea how that's supposed to work, you know? Like... I, But Zelda's always been kind of wacky. I've... I have, um... What, which ones do I have? I think it's... I got Ocarina of Time 3D for the D... For the, my DS. Which I still have. And I also have Link Between Worlds. And they're both kind of wacky and a little convoluted and I understand that much a little bit but it's like I don't know maybe I'm just not actually as good of a uh, of a <laughs> problem solver as I would like you know um, or puzzle solver when it comes to things like this because uh, I mean like Ocarina of Time, you have to go inside the freaking whale thing to find the... Oh, what are Nemifa's people called again? The freaking fish people. I don't remember what they're called. The fish people. Zora. The Zora. You have to find the Zora princess. She's a little bitch. But, you know, I had no idea how to freaking open that guy's mouth. And it turns out, if you, uh freaking select the bottle while you're in a specific river that has fish in it you can you can scoop up a fish in a bottle yeah i probably should like read signs more often or something but i i i that's one of the things that goes over my head probably all too often is the idea of the ambience integrating into the gameplay you know um now, I don't think Castlevania is going to be like that. I just know that there are some blocks that if you hit them, you make you make cooked chicken appear out of nowhere. You know? You get a full-on turkey. You get a turkey dinner. I get to have my Thanksgiving dinner again. You know? Um, but, you know, it would be nice to know where those boxes are. But again, I've never played Castlevania. Maybe it's actually extremely linear. I would almost hope so, just because... It's a the vampire slayer game, you know. It's the it's the Middle Ages version of Ninja Gaiden, except slightly less difficult and also whip. You have a whip. I get to say Grand Cross and I uh, die, monster. You don't belong in this world, you know. All that jazz, and also freaking. Kid Dracula never released in North America. Released for the first time in North America, Kid Dracula. I don't know what to expect there, but I'm sure gonna play them all in order. You know it. But I also I, I don't know how long a game they are. I, I don't know what to expect because I, I feel like you can kind of tell how big a game is by how long it takes to download. It took me two minutes to download the entire collection of Castlevania games. So I guess I'm expecting it to be maybe about the length of, like, Shovel Knight. Maybe a bit shorter. And just of what we would now consider to be lower quality. Um, just because it's older, you know. 8-bit. All that jazz. But, you know. I don't know what to expect. We will see. We will see. I might play it a little bit before next week. Maybe. But... Uh, who knows? We'll find out. And I'll definitely be saying, like, the most controversial, completely obscene, just absolutely atrocious statements on the next episode. <laughs> uh, 
I, I'd like to say that I can promise I won't be doing something like that anytime soon, but the, the idea of what is atrocious and unacceptable changes often enough that I don't know if I can ever make a promise like that. And I try not to speak in absolutes anyways. The last time I spoke in absolutes, I was telling my ex that I would always be in love with her, and now look at me, sitting here still in love with my ex, like a dumbass. I definitely needed to put that at the end of the video. I'm glad. Thank you, thank you Moon Studios, for Ori 2. Good times. Anyways, on the next episode, Castlevania. It's not even an episode of Ori. That's right, we're going somewhere else entirely. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'll gouge your eyeballs out. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.